Hi, I am an application engineer at IFM Effector. In today's video, we will be walking through how to add persistent variables to your program using the Code Assist Persistence Manager. This allows your variables to retain their values even after power cycles or resets. Let's get started. Open a Code Assist instance and click on New Project. Select a standard project and give this project a name. I called mine Persistence Manager. Click OK. Let's select our target device. I have a CR1077, so I will select the Ecomat Display 64-bit as my target device and click OK. Double-click on PLC PRG. Our goal in this step is to declare some persistent variables. I'm adding three integers here, ILN1, ILN2, and ILN3. In order to make these persistence variables, we will need to add the following pragma on top of the variables. From the top menu bar, click on View and then on Modules. Then, navigate to Composer and select Create Persistence Manager. From the left side tree, click on Persistence Manager that we just added. Here we have to assign the application to this Persistence Manager. Click on the ellipses next to the empty box, select device.application and click OK. Now, let's double click on our Persistence channel from the left side menu. Click on Composer and Generate. Now navigate to the bottom right corner of the screen and click on Refresh. We should now see our persisted variables populated. Click on the Devices tab at the bottom left of our screen. Click on Device from the top of the tree structure. Here I will type in my CR1077 IP address and click on the login icon to go online with the device. Navigate back to our PLC PRG and change our ILN1 value from a 0 to a 10. Let's perform a reset warm and a reset cold to mimic a power cycle. In both cases, we see that our variable ILN1 stays at a value of 10 after both resets. Let's go over some additional configurations in our Persistence Manager settings. Click on Modules at the bottom left of our screen, then on Persistence Channel. Next, click on Parameters. And here I will change values of two variables, xSave onChange and xReadVars during init from false to true. You can see the description of these variables on the screen. For these changes to take effect, click on Composer and Generate. Click the Persistence tab and let's refresh our variables one more time. Log back into the controller to test the new settings. After a reset cold, you see that the last values were shown, 10 and 15 for ILN1 and ILN2 in this case, instead of 0. And that's it! You've successfully configured persistent variables in Code Assist using the Persistence Manager. This allows your variables to retain their values even after power cycles or resets. As always, you can check out our website for helpful information on any of our products. Or contact us at info.us at ifm.com or call into 1-800-441-8246 to speak with somebody who can assist you. Thank you for your time and have a great day.